Yeah, so preprocessors have a, and which CSS nesting got is kind of a concept mm -hmm. of parent. Mm -hmm. It really though is just a selector that allows you to manage order, but selectors always end with the thing on the right, right? So okay. here, like we'll make a selector here. We saw that mm -hmm. main paragraph. This yeah. was the same thing as if we did main paragraph. Mm -hmm. And it, we're selecting the P, the, the thing at the far right. And yes, there's a couple course. things that has does that's super awesome. One of them is if I do has P and mm -hmm. get rid of this part, the selector is no longer the P. The selector is it, main. Oh, wow. So you get to you get to change this. This is what I like to call, and I think it's probably decently official verbiage, is changing the subject of the selector. So the has selector allows you to change the subject to something other than what's all the way on the right. You can like still it. continue and select more stuff after, but mm -hmm. it's a, this would be first you're finding mains that have a paragraph and then finding all the paragraphs inside of there. This is kind of a dumb example, but uh, you can continue it on. So that's one mm -hmm. thing that it does that's very special. It changes the subject. It can also reach uh, way outside of itself. So you could have like HTML has uh, input with the ID of foo is checked. Mm -hmm. And then you can select your main element. Oh, so you can oh, wow. you can basically like hoist all sorts of state of your application up into the top and then deliver it back down to change state somewhere else. So it's almost like, yeah, any element can change any other element on the page based on its state, as long as a selector can select it. Um, yeah. So um, it has, yeah, that, and there's all sorts of other powers. So yeah, people are building games with these because this checked well, feature here. Wow. Yeah.